Last week, we dropped a black and white themed combo video. You guys loved that video and crushed it in views. This week, I will be doing a purple themed video, which was highly requested in last week's episode. I will also be doing an orange theme and brown theme in the near future, as they were also highly requested. As always, I will be giving away a skin in this video. All you need to do, stick around, watch the entire video to find out how to enter. Also drop a like and hopefully that purple skin will help you in your purple themed inventory. This purple Lota is extremely budget friendly. It comes in at $21.40. You can't go wrong with spending that on a full themed inventory. This will be if you take the budget option for each of the skins that I do show and it does not include the knife or glove. Now, let's get into the video. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated trading site with an insane amount of skins. Simply click the skins that you don't want from your inventory, click the skins you do want, and press trade. Use code CLAUDE to get up to $5 extra on your first trade when you spend $100, as well as a 35% deposit bonus. They also have freebies for daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. Link is in the description. Check it out today, and thanks again Skins Monkey for sponsoring the video. Starting off with the Glock 18, the only option we have for this one is the Moonrise in Field Tested Condition at 30 cents. This is a great budget option, and you have to pick this up with a purple themed inventory. Moving over to the USPS, the budget option we have here is the Black Lotus in Field Tested Condition at 74 cents. The purple doesn't shine as much on this one, however it is still purple and it's a great budget option. The other option you have for the USPS is the Purple DD Pat in Factory New Condition at $15.75. This is the only Purple DD Pat skin in the game. It's unfortunate that there aren't more to match a purple themed inventory. Moving over to the Desert Eagle, your budget option here is actually just picking up a meteorite in field tested for 62 cents and putting some purple stickers on them. I'd recommend some purple glitter stickers, either from Antwerp or Paris or anything like that. With the Deagle, most of these color themed inventories do not match very good with Deagles since they are super expensive, so this is your budget option. One of the options that you do have for the Deagle if you have a higher budget is the Ocean Drive in factory new condition. Comes in at around $153. Does have a ton of purple, however it also has a ton of other colors. I personally would not pick this one up. Jumping over to the Tech 9, the only option we have here is the Sandstorm in field tested condition coming in at $0.23. Cents. It has a ton of purple on it, definitely a great pickup. For the 5.7, we actually have two pretty budget options. The first one here is the Flame Test in minimal wear condition at 10 cents. It does look very glittery and has a shine, so if you don't like this one, check out this next option. Your other option here is the Violent Damio in field tested condition at only 13 cents. It's only 3 cents more and it's another great budget purple option. Taking a look at the dual Berettas, the only option you have is the Flora Carnivora field tested condition at 48 cents. It has a ton of purple on the handles and when you inspect it there's also a ton of purple that you can see around the trigger. Definitely a great pickup for the price. Your budget option for the P250 is a souvenir option, however you just want to scrape off these stickers. It is the Drought in field tested condition at 3 cents, and in the correct light in CS2 it does have a nice purple shine to it. Definitely a great pickup for only 3 cents. Another option that you have for the P250 is the Vino Primo in field tested condition at $9.19. Jumping over to the P2000, your budget option here is the Acid Etched in field tested condition at 36 cents. It does kind of look bluish purple, so I did include it in the purple theme just because there are spots that do look very purple. It's a great budget option. Another option that you have is the Wicked Sick in field tested condition at $2.36. The main part of the purple is on the handle, however, it does have a ton of purple and it is included in this purple themed inventory. Starting off with the SMGs, we got the MAC-10 Ultraviolet in field tested condition at $2.77. You can actually pick this up in stat track field tested for $1.77. However, I didn't want to show that just since not everyone wants to do a full stat track theme. If you don't care about some guns being in stat track, I would definitely pick this one up in stat track and save a dollar. Taking a look at the UMP, the budget option we have here is the Moonrise in field tested condition at 25 cents. It does show a lot of wear, so I definitely try to find one closer to that minimal wear float. However, it's still a great pickup and has a ton of purple. Another option you have for the UMP is the Crime Scene in Minimal Wear Condition at $94.34. Jumping over to the MP9, the budget option we have is the Goo in Field Tested Condition at $0.37. Cents. It kind of gives off that bluish purple color, however if you throw some purple stickers on it, it is a great budget option. Another budget option you have for the MP9 is the Mount Fuji in Field Tested Condition at $2.41. However, most of the purple is down on the handle, the top looks very pink so I don't know if I would recommend this one. 
Taking a look at the PP Bison, the only option we have here is the Space Cat in field tested condition at 21 cents. The purple on this really stands out, it's a great pickup for the price. Moving over to the MP7, this is another gun in the game that doesn't have any purple options. I would pick up the Armor Core in field tested condition at only 9 cents and throw 4 purple stickers on it. It'll make it stand out a ton and it'll pair nicely with some purple and black gloves. Taking a look at our final SMG, we got the P90 Neo Queen in battle scarred condition at 80 cents. The more battle scarred it is, the more purple it shows, so definitely look for one with the highest float possible at this price point. At 7,500 subscribers, I will be giving away this survival knife stained. All you need to do, like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and make sure your trade link or Steam ID is in the description of your YouTube channel. Now, let's continue on. Taking a look at the Galil, the budget option we have is the Sandstorm in field tested condition at $1.04. This one obviously shows a ton of wear, so definitely look for one closer to that minimal wear float. It does have some purple on it on the mag and at the front of the gun. I definitely think this is a great purple skin for the price. Another option that you have for the Galil is the Phoenix Blacklight in factory new condition at $57.50. I personally think this is one of the best purple looking skins in the game and for the price it's definitely a great pickup if you could afford it. Taking a look at the FAMAS, I would pick up the Rapid Eye Movement in field tested condition at $1.33. Taking a look at the main primary weapons in the game, we got the AK-47 Slate with a bunch of purple stickers on it. This is the budget option at $1.69. If you're not a huge fan of the AK-47 Slate, I would pick up the Nightwish in minimal wear condition at $22.96. For the M4A1S, another skin that is in battle scarred condition that you want to pick up is the Night Terror, comes in at $1.82. Moving over to the M4A4, the budget option we have is the Desolate Space in Field Tested Condition at $5.76. This personally is one of my favorite skins in the game, so I definitely would pick this up. I will also be giving away one of these skins in this video to help you guys out with your purple themed inventory. All you need to do is drop a comment down below on which skin is your favorite M4A4 in the game. Another great purple option that you have is the Dragon King Factory New Condition at $31.20. However, I personally would pick up the Desolate Space over this one. It's cheaper and I do think the purple stands out more. Taking a look at the AWP, the budget option here is the Exoskeleton in battle scarred condition at $1.98 and with the right light in CS2 it definitely has a nice purple shine to it. I definitely think this is a great budget option for a purple themed inventory. Another great purple option for the AWP is the Onitaji in minimal wear condition. However, it does cost $436. If you also have a super high budget, you can pick up the Lightning Strike, which is pretty much all purple with the Lightning that does show on it. I personally think that both of these AWPs look incredibly good in CS2, but for the price, it's very expensive. Taking a look at the Scout, this is another one of the skins that doesn't have many options. I personally would pick up the Carbon Fiber Souvenir version, factory new for $1.43 and put some purple stickers on it. Quickly, we'll talk about some gloves and knives that you can pick up for that purple theme. I would recommend any of the Dopplers. This one right here is a Phase 1 Doppler in factory new condition. I do think the purple stands out a ton, especially in some light. It does look like a sapphire. Another purple knife option that you do have is any of the ultraviolet finishes. They do show a ton on the handle in purple. Definitely see it a lot more when you are inspecting it. However, they are purple and it's a great option to pick up for a purple themed inventory. The final knife option that I would recommend is any of the freehand knives. The purple on it definitely does stand out and it matches very nicely. For the gloves, we do only have two good options. The first one right here that I have on currently are the Pandora boxes. They are extremely expensive, so I personally would not recommend them. The other glove option you have here are the Imperial plaids. I personally think they look better in game, and I also know that they are way cheaper. So I definitely would recommend these over the Pandora boxes, and I personally want to pick up one of these very soon. I hope you guys did enjoy this purple themed loadout. It was hard to find some of these options since there aren't many budget purple themed skins in the game. However, hopefully that will change soon with a new case coming to CSGO. Hopefully we do see that in the near future and hopefully there are some purple skins we can include. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.